Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to install Quassel Core and get it going. So to start off, I have my Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager because I'm going to set up a Quassel server and I am focusing on Ubuntu server so we can't use my Debian stuff right now. So I'm going to restore my Ubuntu server VM really quick and then we will log in and set up the server. All right, so the snapshot is restored. Now I just need to do a headless start, wait for it to turn on, get my SSH client ready, and connect into it. And once I connect into my Ubuntu SSH client, uh, my Ubuntu server via SSH, we need to install the Quassel core uh, server setup. We don't need to install anything else other than core because we'll deal with the client on the remote machine, which will be this computer here. All right, so I'm successfully logged into my Ubuntu server for the video. Now it's time to install the client. So what you would do is just install the package itself, especially on, on Ubuntu server or Ubuntu in general, uh, really doesn't matter. It will do all of the setup for the SSL and everything in between. You don't really got to think about it. So just do sudo apt install quassel core, however you say that, and then press enter. Make sure that your server has access to the network itself. So if you're trying to connect to a connection, it's probably best that you uh, enter the information and have it so that the server can access the network because, um, you know, if you're not giving it the right network information, uh, it could be bad. In my case, I had to make my virtual machine bridged to the network itself just so that I could reach it because virtual machines like to be isolated from the network. So that's what I mean by that. Okay, so to connect, you need to install the Quassel IRC client. Now, I have the IRC client only. If you install the monolithic one, and we cover this in the article in the description, it will not work. You need to use the client only one. So I actually already have a connection set up for my personal server. And uh, this is basically how it works. You go to, you can click disconnect from core, and you click connect to core. Now this is an identity for my other one, but I'm gonna create a new identity and I just click add, and then I go account name, let's go D. Host name just would be the host name of the Ubuntu server. And you can copy that. Paste, username, Derek1, enter the password, remember it, connect, and then you just click OK and it should connect. And uh, like I said, I already have a core one set up, so I'm just going to connect that one. But this is basically what would happen. If you can look in the bottom here, it says synchronize to Derek, and then I can access, and this is an IRC chat that's been going on that I have been uh, going in and out of for the better part of a couple hours. And it's always syncing and it's always saving in the background. So I know what all these people that I talk to sometimes are doing. I have all the logs. And at any time, I can just close my network, uh, sorry, my Quassel IRC client at any time. I can access it on any other computer and it will read me the same logs. I will be able to look back like any other server. Oh, sorry, like any other chat program. So that's how you set up Quassel IRC, the Quassel Core uh, portion of it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, uh, I tried to make this as easy to understand as possible. Quassel is a really nice IRC client, by the way. Very, very nice to use, and I recommend it highly. Uh, anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.